Good evening, welcome to our service of evening prayer on this, the sixth Sunday of Trinity. Um, it's great to have you with us. I'm Leon, the Vicar of St. Giles, and uh, I'm going to lead us through our service this evening. You don't need any order of service or anything. All the words will appear on the screen. Do please join me in the liturgy. Let's start by being still for a moment. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O oh God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Psalm for today is Psalm 71. We're going to read verses 1 to 8 and then verses 19 to the end. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue me and deliver me. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge, to which I can always go. Give the command to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. For you have been my hope, sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. From birth I have relied on you. You brought me forth from my mother's womb. I will ever praise you. I have become a sign to many. You are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendour all day long. Your righteousness, God, reaches to the heavens. You who have done great things, who is like you, God? Though you have made me see troubles, many and bitter, you will restore my life again. From the depths of the earth, you will again bring me up. You will increase my honour and comfort me once more. I'll praise you with the harp for your faithfulness, my God. I'll sing praise to you with the lyre, Holy One of Israel. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praise to you, I whom you have delivered. My tongue will tell of your righteous acts all day long, for those who wanted to harm me have been put to shame and confusion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Now St. Giles' choir is going to lead us in the day thou gavest, Lord is ended. Thank 
Now we join together in the Magnificat Mary's song. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. I'm going to continue in our series of reflections by church leaders from across Nottingham. And today it's uh, Marta Casoto of YWAM. Hello there, my name is Marta and I lead Y1 Forge Nottingham along with my husband Matthias. Uh, we arrived in Nottingham about three years ago and had a great introduction to City Prayer by Alid. Thank you Alid. And we also had a very warm welcome from the whole team. Today we're going to be uh, looking at Galatians 5 and just focusing on verses 13 to 16 as well as the fruit of the Spirit in verse 22. So let's look at that. You, my brothers, were called to be free. Do not use your freedom to indulge the sinful nature. Rather, serve one another in love. The entire law is summed up in a single command. Love your neighbour as yourself. If you keep on biting and devouring each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. So I say, live by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. So as we continue to read past verse 16, we see that Paul explains in detail what he means by the desires of sinful nature and the kind of fruits that are produced by the sinful nature. Um, he also goes on in verse 22 to tell us the kind of fruits of evidence that is produced by life that is uh, lived with the spirit. These are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Against such things there is no law. So as we look at how to live in the spirit, it's uh, really good to take advantage of these unusual circumstances and really just evaluate our habits, evaluate our, our choices, evaluate where we're investing things. When I say evaluate, I don't mean unhealthy introspection. Um, I mean, you can do this as part of your time with God, in prayer, in worship, in word, whatever helps you to connect with Jesus. So as Paul has already said, he's demonstrated that each investment or decision produces some kind of fruit. Uh, so let us look at the kind of fruits that our habits are bringing about. Uh, think about our thought life, uh, our emotions, um, our practical actions, think about where we invest our time or what we invest our time and money into as these give a hint of the kind of priorities that we have in our lives. Make sure you invite God into this process. Allow him to shine a light on the things he wishes knowing that he is completely good and unconditional loving God. As you identify each habit uh, or where you have invested things, make a note and then commit to that one small godly discipline that will help bring about a different kind of fruit. What do I mean? Uh, in your thought life, if you've identified that you tend to be a bit negative, more doom and gloom side of things, uh, let's put that to one side and think, okay, how can I capture those thoughts and instead be more thankful? Um, look at things in, in grat gratitude. Let's speak that out, let's pray that out and make that a daily habit. Um, and as you do that every day, you'll see that it flows and comes out far more naturally and will produce joy. Um, look at your emotions, look at your practical actions and ask the Lord to guide you. What one uh, godly discipline can you put into your life that's going to make a difference in the fruit? This is really a great opportunity to lay down foundations for long-term godly disciplines that will impact your life and remain steadfast even uh, when, when normality catches up. Um, 
let's also remember that the fruit of the Spirit is only the work of the Spirit and not our own efforts or labour, as we allow the Holy Spirit to guide us, to teach us, to reveal things for us, uh, he will make sure that the fruit is produced in our lives. What small discipline or godly habit can you implement today? Father, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you and we ask that you help us, that you lead us, that we, you teach us, so that we can be your witnesses as you produce fruit in us and you allow it uh, to bloom to your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grateful to Christine who has prepared our prayers for us this evening. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love our neighbour and to care for those in need as if we were caring for you. In this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick and to assure the isolated of our love and your love, for your name's sake. Amen. This evening we pray that the rest of this day may be holy, peaceful, and full of your presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may hear and respond to your call to peace and justice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That you will sustain the faith and hope of those who are lonely, oppressed and anxious. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That you will strengthen us in your service and fill our hearts with longing for your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. A prayer for the sick. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this evening those who are ill or in pain, whether from COVID-19 or other illnesses, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold them safe. Comfort and heal them, and restore them to health and strength, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And for our government, we pray for all who lead this nation at national and local level. Give wisdom to leaders who take decisions to steer our country through the unknown of this pandemic. Help them to find the best way to achieve cooperation from us, the people of this land. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And lastly, a prayer of St. Columba of Iona. My dearest Lord, be thou a bright flame before me. Be thou a guiding star above me. Be thou a smooth path beneath me. Be thou a kindly shepherd behind me today and evermore. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. St. Giles' choir are going to lead us once again in song. This time it's Go Forth and Tell.
with the collect for the sixth Sunday of Trinity. O God, who has prepared for them that love thee, such good things as past man's understanding, pour into our hearts such love toward thee, that we, loving thee above all things, may obtain thy promises, which exceed all that we can desire, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now the collect for the evening. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. And the Collect for Protection. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's say the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we close, we've got John Prentice who's going to play us out on his virtual organ. Uh, this is uh, Dietrich Buxton Hughes. I'm sure you pronounce that differently. Uh, Prelude in C major. And uh, John tells me he was the inspiration for Bach and uh, once back walked uh, 400 kilometres to hear him pray. So he's, he's pretty good. I'm not sure John's up to that standard, but he, he takes his inspiration from him like back as well. <laughs>